Hey YouTube, it's day 25 of Vita. So today I want to talk about voluntary simplicity, which is choosing to live your life simply. Not that you're necessarily forced to do so because of economic reasons, but more because it's the right thing to do, at least in my opinion. So for the past couple months, I've been thinking about what I want to do with my life because I only have two more years of college left and then I have to like go into the real world and pay for things with my own money which is really lame. I'd really just like to be an undergrad forever and have my parents continue to pay for things. But that's not really living life. That's cheating. And so I was thinking about what I want to do with my life and I really want to help other people because there are a lot of people out there who need help. And I realize you don't get paid a lot for helping other people. So I was like, that's fine. Like I can live my life simply. I don't need a lot of things. But then the thing I always come back to is if and when I ever have children. I feel like I shouldn't make choices for someone else, including my children, but obviously I'm gonna have to make some choices for them because they're not gonna be able to choose for themselves for at least a couple years. And I wanna give my children the best because I think I got a lot from my parents. I got to travel, I gotta see a lot of things. And when they're in school, they're going to need like clothes so they fit in I mean obviously they'll need clothes but fitting in has never really been like high on my priority list but I realize possibly some of my children that might be important to them and I feel like I should be able to have the money to provide them with what they want maybe not everything they want because if it were just me I don't think I would mind as much living in the middle of nowhere and wearing a t-shirt and jeans every day. Because really, I would like to live in the middle of nowhere. I don't really know why, it just sounds easier. And you're not always comparing yourself to other people. But then sometimes I go to sh sh fancy schmancy hotels and stuff. Or my friend Zena's house, which was super duper nice. And I'm like, man, I want to be rich. Because it's nice being rich. You get fancy things that are fancy and like any person especially any person raised in today's consumer society realizes that they want fancy things I mean who doesn't want fancy things but the thing is I only really want those things when I'm around fancy things so I feel like if I were in the middle of nowhere it'd be easier to not have fancy things and part of me thinks that if I were rich then I'd be able to help people more because I would have more money to give them but then I also realized I would become accustomed to a higher style of living and I'd probably be more stringent with my money and end up giving away less or at least a smaller proportion. So I don't know what to do. I think the right thing would be to try and live simply, but that's really difficult. But life isn't about being easy. It's about making the right choices. I don't really like Dumbledore. Maybe more on that in a different video. But he was right when he said we have to choose between what is right and what is easy. And I'm trying to accept my decision. But every time I go shopping, I really, really like buying things a lot. I'm a terrible, terrible wannabe hippie. And that's what I am. I'm like a wannabe hippie who cannot commit to her decision. So what do you guys think about wealth and money? Do you want to be rich? Do you want to help other people? Do you want to be rich and help other people? Is it possible to be poor and help people or rich and help people? I don't know. I'm very confused like most things in life. Every time I end one of these videos, I'm like, I'm confused. Tell me what you think, because I can't make decisions by myself. This is a difficult decision, you know? Sorry I'm not making sense. I just drove back today, and I have school tomorrow, and I don't want to go to school, and I don't want to write my paper. Okay, end complaining, because my life is awesome, and I shouldn't be complaining. I'll see you guys tomorrow. Bye.